Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Title. Even though Dr. Now does his best to help obese and overweight people on his show, My 600 Pound Lives, to take the difficult journey of losing weight, many contestants on the show just argue and fight with him instead. It is understandable that losing weight is not easy and it takes a lot of willpower, but if one does not want to make any changes, no one can help him or her. Here are some instances that will make you hate the show. Nikki Webster's Stupidity Nikki Webster's can be titled as the worst contestant to ever come on the show. Weighing more than 700 pounds, it was already super difficult for her to even do daily chores and take care of herself. Despite the fact that she required help to even stand on her own, she was found eating a meal full of fat secretly. Nikki did not even think twice before washing Dr. Now's efforts down the drain. It was quite stupid and even insensitive of her to not even try to to have a little control over herself. After all, losing weight is all about willpower and self-control. I just had accepted the fact that it was never going to happen. Megan's argument. Megan was just 24 years old when she came to the show with a weight of over 600 pounds. It was understandable that for a young 24 year old, it is difficult to succumb to order and plans made by others. But what she needed to realize was that it was for herself only. No one else was getting any benefit from it. Doctor now devised a plan for her according to which she was supposed to lose 40 pounds each month. However, due to Megan's resistance towards orders, she only lost 30 30 pounds in 4 months, which was not acceptable. Doctor now tried to motivate her, but her arrogance got them in an intense argument, which made the audience remember the show forever. 246 pounds. What are you looking to accomplish with that? I want to get rid of the extra skin in my stomach. Dominic's protein excuse. The audacity of Dominic to pull over a fast food chain and have a cheat meal while weighing over 100 pounds and having a person care of your diet more than you were, something which was full of bad decisions. Upon questioning, he was bold enough to make an excuse that he had protein and promised himself that he will not overeat, but this is just not how it works. Doctor now got furious at him and his brother for driving him up to the restaurant. The scene of elimination of Dominic from the show as a moment every person from the audience hated. Sean's reverse gear. Sean is probably the only contestant who gained weight on the show My 600 Pounds Live. He weighed 900 pounds when he entered the show and went back home with a weight of 1000 pounds. The whole journey of Sean was about how a person can gain weight on a weight loss show. Furthermore, he was always found arguing and misbehaving with the staff that was there to only help him. There was an instance when he said such rude and hateful things to a staff member that made the audience hate the show as anything. Things got really bad because my mother passed away. James' girlfriend sneaking in. Nothing is worse than seeing the loved ones of a patient ruin their health themselves. The same happened with a contestant named James K. His girlfriend was found sneaking in food for him despite the fact that he was suffering from many diseases due to his obesity. She was literally killing her with love. At one point, James' kidneys failed and he suffered from cirrhosis, and his condition got even worse after that. He was declared a lost cause by Dr. Now after the whole incident. The whole of James' story made the audience take a break from the show. Coming here, bringing all the people working for you, and you do nothing. We it's need you to help us. We don't need you to degrade us, okay? Lashanta's Chips Addiction As soon as a contestant named Lashanta was discharged from the hospital, she did not even spare a minute to go back to her unhealthy lifestyle. This was hidden from her nutritionist and doctor now for a long time, but eventually, she was busted. A large number of packets of chips were found from her house, and it was ironic that she was eating a full bucket of fried chicken when she was busted. It was disappointing to see contestants not even put in effort which made the audience hate the show for a while. Fortunately, Dr. Now kept his temper cool and sent in an ambulance to bring her in for a checkup and a lecture. Sarah's Candies Sarah was a contestant who was motivated like anything when she entered the show, but she proved to be a waste of time for both herself and Dr. Now. The minute she was found with tons of candies and chocolates in her room, she was busted once before and promised to quit cheating, but it was all worse and no application. Her progress was already not up to the mark and it further put her behind the line. Moving to 
another city just to lose weight is a proof enough that it was mandatory for Sarah to lose weight in order to live. But none of the factors were motivating enough for her. She flushed all her and Dr. Now's effort down the drain the minute she bought those candies. What amazes the audience is how a person can choose candy over their own life. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on the screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.